Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Snowpark Guy Guy channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a stock conversion on a BMW. In this case, I'm going to be working on my BMW Z4 E89, which has the standard lugs. I'm going to convert it to these kind of studs. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, first of all, it's going to make it a lot easier for me to switch out the wheels, which I do more or less regularly, at least, you know, three, four times a year. I switch out the wheels for the winter and I have the, the summer wheels and tire combination as well. But not only that, it's going to make it look a lot better, especially with these 437M, uh, which are M3, M4 wheels. Let's get to it. So we're going to go from this. To this so here's everything that you're gonna need first you're gonna need a nice jack to lift up your car obviously then you will need a good breaker bar with a 17 millimeter uh, socket on the end I will also be using a torque wrench to make sure everything is uh, properly specced a brush is gonna help us clean off some of the rust if there's any that's built up behind the wheel of course you're gonna need your uh, studs with the nuts and a five millimeter hex socket uh, for the actual studs to put them on the hub. And to make everything stay in place, we're gonna use some blue Loctite, which will definitely help us out. And last but not least, an impact driver, just to make things a little bit easier. Step one, loosen the lugs on the wheel. So you're not gonna be able to do it once it's in the air. And this is where a breaker bar comes in super handy. It's a lot easier. Now, jack up your car. And that should be enough. Now, take out the lugs. This is where one of these comes in super helpful. And remove the wheel. Now, we can clean up the hub just a little bit, make it a little bit cleaner, remove some of the rust. The next step is very important if you want your studs to stay in properly. So we're going to use some blue Loctite 232. You don't need a lot, about that much is plenty, and just screw them in manually. Now we're gonna set our torque crunch to 15 Newton meters or 11 pound feet of torque. So as you can see, I am at five, that's 10, 11, that's 11 Newton meters, tighten it up. This is very important for your studs to be correctly seated in the hub. They are all seated properly now. Now we're just gonna put the wheel back on and look how much easier it is to do so now. Boom, it's on. You don't even have to hold it like you normally would. Now the wheel is more or less secure on the hub. We're gonna lower the car just enough in order to use our torque wrench and get it torqued up properly. So the car is still being held in halfway by the jack and about half of the weight is on the wheel. I have now set my torque wrench to the maximum allowed pound-feet of torque, which is about 83, 84. Now this car requires about 88 to 90 pound-feet of torque in order to be properly specced. So what I'm gonna do is torque it up as much as I can, and then I'm gonna do a quarter turn with a breaker bar just to make it a little bit more secure.
Notice I'm doing it in a star pattern. This is the best way to do it to make sure everything's evenly tightened. Now I'm gonna lower the cart all the way and do the last touch. Yes, it's even more like an eighth of a turn. And that's the entire process to convert your BMW to studs. I'm all done and wow guys, look at it. It looks fantastic. It's such a small change, but makes such a big difference to the wheel. You know, I paid a lot of money for these wheels and I definitely wanted to have them come out a little bit more pronounced on the car, you know. With those old lugs, it still make, made it look like it, you know, the wheels didn't really belong on this car. But once I put the studs in, it looks fantastic. I just love it. So hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. And I do think it, you know, gives the car a little bit of that, uh, modded or like like somebody put some kind of care into the car so thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like the video give it a like leave a comment let me know what you think subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next one